Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress episode 135. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of this episode, so if you guys want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. For anyone out there who wants to support me, uh, you guys can also check out my read without any sort of censorship, no blurs, no cat logo, and also gain early access to all my content. They're available on patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. Whew! <laughs> it's a mouthful to say. We received reports that the, the spring water bandits are gaining control over more areas. The spring water bandits, you say? They're the groups of thieves my brother used to clash with occasionally while he was in the borderlands. You should ask my brother. He knows them well. I was just about to say that Sir Aprin recommended that I talk to your brother as well. Anyways, um, don't you have anything you want to say to me? Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. It's something that only married couples talk about. Married couples? Oh, sorry guys, forgot to mute my phone. What could he be referring to? Oh. One moment. Huh? Mm? My queen? Uh, what, was she, what did she grab? But, what was this? I wrote down the things I have to do now that the wedding reception is over. Married couples are supposed to discuss household matters together. That's what you meant, right? Oh. It's a to-do list. To-do. Check the royal budget and accounts. Find out the numbers of people employed at the palace and their situations. Wages and positions, wages and duties. Go over the welfare scheme. Prepare to pursue trade with loot. What do I do first? How should I... Conf something Grand Duke Kaufman. Be a correspondence. Or should I spend a repre send a representative? I don't know what to do. Five, look into the situation with Miss Merlani's family. Six, birthday gifts for Princess Cersei. Seven, thank you gift for the high priest donations. Eight, to study the history of the Western Empire. There are things I don't understand. Nine, hire aid. Ten, acquire an office. Well, that's a big list. Is it too boring? No, it's not that. <clears throat> What I wanted to hear was of a more private nature, my queen. A private nature? Does he already want a response to his confession? I thought he said he'll wait a lifetime. <clears throat> I'm not sure what you mean. Hi. <sighs> oh. Henry, that's my side of the bed. Uh, pardon? You should move more to the left if you want to spread your arms out. Uh, uh, hmm. <laughs> uh what's so funny? I, I'm sorry, my queen. I didn't mean to laugh so hard. <laughs> Well, you see, <laughs> I just wanted you to use my arm as a pillow. The Remarried Empress, Episode 135 Meanwhile, in the Eastern Empire My transaction papers! Where are they? <laughs> I have them, of course. You're lying! <gasps> Oh, she tossed something. <gasps> what on earth is the matter with you, you wench? Uh, you wench? Don't play games with me. I know you've lost them. How could you be so careless? Now, His Majesty knows about the document. <gasps> it's because of Corsair. He stole the papers. These useless old man. All he cares about is money. Get out. I said get out! Ding. Is that her 
wedding ring, her wedding band or her engagement ring. Oh. Sing. I was wondering why she wanted to see me as soon as she returned. The insolence. How dare she disrespect me like that? I'll show her that she can try all she likes, but I'm the one in control here. You're back. Uh. You need to request an audience with the Emperor and Empress. What? Why? I just came back from visiting Russia. Seems she has been feeling a lot of pressure since she became the Empress. I think it will cheer her up if you were to take in and let her see him. But... In is a spitting image of Rashta. What if people start to get suspicious? In particular, he has his mother's unique hair color. You can just have him wear a hat. Please don't yell. I just got him to sleep. Are you talking back to me? He is ugh. Fine, I'll make the request tomorrow morning. Get there nice and early. There are a lot of people who want to meet them. T they're there. He won't be able to act as you please after today. He has a ring. Oh, snap. I'll show you. <laughs> who holds the power in this situation? Oh, damn it. The people at the palace maintain that Delise resigned. The other maids say they don't know where she is. Where am I supposed to look? I still think and act no differently from all of you. I want you to know that I will stand with the commoners, even when I become an empress. Yes, she might know something. There are a lot of people waiting to see her, but I'm sure I can find one person willing to switch places with me if I plead my case. Is that her fiance, Delise's fiance, right? I'm going to request an audience with the Empress. That's a death wish. I'm sorry about my lighting. It makes me look really dark here, but I'll probably change it for my next read. But anyways, yes, I believe that as Delise's boyfriend or fiance and if we recall if i recall correctly delise of course rushed uh, got someone to cut off delise tongue <laughs> it's so hard to say that but also banished her to outside the palace or outside the city or like to the countryside pretty much like she is not allowed to be set foot anywhere near rasta pretty much but also her tongue is cut out so she can't talk and I'm very sure back then, a lot of maids and butlers and, uh, yeah, uh, they are not very literate, like, in reading and writing. You know, back then, when people are poor, they don't have that type of opportunity to go to school like we are today. So, yeah, either that or, like, I think, did she also cut her fingers off? I don't remember. But back then, I just remember back then when I used to study like, you know, Chinese dynasty back in the day and how they, when they torment someone or banish someone, they would cut the person's tongues off and their fingers. So yeah, or poke out their eyeballs. It's just like, it's really bad. It's really horrible. But now why am I rambling on about this? But so I thought maybe Russia did all of that, but who knows? But now her fiance is... You know, Delise's fiance is catching up and now want to see an, uh, seek an audience with Rashta is literally a death wish because, you know, Rashta is capable of doing all these horrible things to other people who are beneath her now, now that she's an empress, you know, so he might, she might hurt him. And now, of course, Loteshu, which is Rashta's former slave owner, is trying to get even with her and making sure, like, to reestablish that like, he is still in charge and she has no right to talk down on him it's very scary but it's stirring the pot in the right places because i wonder how rasta will you know what is going to be her downfall in the long run you know so it's a really good read i'm kind of like not bored but i'm kind of like okay what's going on with um nabiera and henry i kind of wish to kind of speed up their romance a little bit but then again 
we have to be realistic here, you know, like she still have to learn to trust him and open up, not just like with running the Western kingdom, but also allowing him into her heart as a couple, as lovers. So a little bland on that side, but I'm kind of glad stuff are kind of mixing up over here for a Rashta and the Eastern Empire. So it's getting juicy. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!